Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy and thank you for clicking on our video. Well guys, as you can see, I've got the Klein Tools Mod Box bags. That's actually a tool bag and this is a tool tote. And in this video, we're going to give you a ton of information on these two. We're going to do close-ups as well. But uh, these two can support a 50-pound capacity, which is really good. They're made of a durable, water-resistant 1680D ballistic weave material. Man, say that five times. They have a strong padded shoulder strap, a durable molded bottom we'll show you later. So if you're out in the field, that's going to help you. They both have plenty of pockets to store and organize tools. They even include a tape lock and a tape measure holder and more. So why don't we go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, we are going to start here with the Modbox tool bag. I'm going to give you some information. We're going to take a close look. Uh, I'm going to actually have tools in here as well, and then we'll also connect it to the rolling toolbox so you can see how easy that goes. So first off, some information in the upper right-hand corner. The part number is 62203MB. This sells for $99.98. All right. So just a list of features for now. This easily connects to the mod box, toolboxes, and drawers. I'm going to demo that in a moment. This has 28 pockets. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. This has a 50 pound capacity, which is really nice. We've got a fully molded durable bottom. We're going to take a look at it in a minute, and that's going to be for long term protection. It's got this stay open wide frame on top, which can be very helpful. The material is a durable water resistant 1680 ballistic weave and uh, it's got padded shoulder strap and some very comfortable handles um, it's got a tape loop so you can carry uh, tape with you it's got a tape measurement holder and uh, it's got a bracket for a headlamp inside that's sold separately because it's also for a headlamp but you can also put it in your bag for more light now let me bring up some information on the warranty Here's some information on the warranty. This is the website also if you want to go to it. Um, they don't state lifetime or limited lifetime warranty. They don't use that verbiage. Uh, but they do state the normal life of the product if you see down below. And of course, all the way down on the bottom, you see tool pouches and tool bags. So this should be in that category, all right? Hit pause if you need more information. Let's look at the headlamp bracket. This is the headlamp bracket. Now, this is $9.99. I don't know if it includes both the headlamp and the bracket, but the part number is 56060. $10. I mean, if it comes with the headlamp, that's a really good deal. Let's look at measurements now. So measurements on this bag are on the screen. Again, hit pause if you need that information. We're going to now look at some close-up images. And again, we are going to take a really good close-up of this unit. So here are some uh, large, high-resolution pictures. This is the first one. Here is the second one. Here's the third one with the bag all the way open. Again, we're going to do this in a little while. And here is the last one. Why don't we jump in and take a close look at this bag now. So let's go ahead and drop this on the toolbox. Now it's an empty tool bag right now, right? So, but uh, as you can see here, that's your uh, release mechanism. If we look at the bottom of the bag, you'll see here that it's got the two gripping areas, pretty thick by the way, and then it's got the release. So you just lift this up to release. So that's what the bottom looks like. Again, you're gonna take this and there's where you're gonna put it, right? So you lay it in place 
and then again because it's light right now it's probably a little difficult for that reason all right it is on <laughs> and and basically to release it but this isn't going anywhere but if you need it just grab it again with tools it might even be a little easier so it really holds on let me tell you i think they did really good research because this thing is deep and as you could see these guys are grippy and you want to know that when you have your tools in here and you're just kind of you know whether you're on dirt or concrete and you're just grabbing your tools off your truck you want to know that it's going to work so that worked out continuing to look at this here you've got 28 pockets as you can see inside you've got a boatload of pockets inside right so inside you've got uh, pockets on the outside big big ones like this which is going to be helpful all right so you've got a front and a back pocket you got two pockets on the outside and the remainder are on the inside all right here's that stay open wide frame by the way so you know it, it will while you're in it'll stay open while you're going to get your tools and stuff and uh, the zipper you know seems like it's made well so it's got a really thick zipper so it doesn't look like it's cheap and that's important too again if you decide it's got um, both of these guys so you got one on each side and you got the holders here all right so there's your zipper which is nice um, let's look at the handles here's a look at the handles a little cushion in there that's all does the job right now you're going to take this and throw it in here and that's going to be a lot more comfortable if you've got to like walk for a while with this so it's zippers closed and then the uh shoulder strap there it goes huh so nice thick padding on the shoulder strap that's imp that's important looks like it's made well good stitching adjustable which is important and uh these uh look like they're going to grab on pretty good let me uh show you this side you could see here so it doesn't look like they skimped at all you know looks looks pretty good material they use is a 1680d ballistic weave fabric so uh and, and it you know again this is double-sided so you know really good material let's look at the bracket for the headlamp so you could snap that in there and the headlamp is actually adjustable which is nice so when you snap that in there um, you know you can actually see into your bag and then again you can take that off and throw that on your headlamp which is nice so I like that now as you can see here it's got the uh, tape measure holder right so I've got a big metal so I could take this off for a second because it really holds on. But you can see that's a that's made to stay for a long time. And uh, you also have a tape loop. So, you know, you can carry some tape with you, which is nice. And don't forget, this has a 50-pound capacity, which is uh, really important. And here's a good look at the bottom of the bag, too. You know, so they've got like a double-stitch all around i mean you're going to be dropping this on the ground stuff like that so you want to know that it's going to last so uh looks like you know again really hard plastic and uh yeah you're going to be putting it on the ground and these are going to be touching the ground right you know but look it's it's really made well now i've got a good amount of tools in this bag you know i've got my tape here hanging on the tape loop i've got my tape measure there I have a nice size battery in here. I got a six amp hour battery by Ryobi. But let's take everything out of here so you can see what I have in this bag. All right, and then we'll take another close look at the compartments and stuff. But let's, t let's have some fun unloading. You can kind of see what I've got 
in the bag. Nope, not done yet. <laughs> got a bunch of stuff in this bag. So look, that's what I got in the bag. But yeah, yeah, guess what? I've got a six and a half inch circular saw in here also with the battery on the side. So look at that. I put all that in that tool bag. That's not bad. That holds a lot. So let's take a close look again. Last close look at some of the things, right? So you could see here there's a top and a bottom section which is nice they also have some of these straps that can actually help hold some tools in place and if we go here you'll see we've got them up top also so depending on what you're putting you know they've got a really nice system in here so I wanted to show you that all right let's move on to the tool tote all right, I'll put the part number and the price in the upper right-hand corner. So the part number on this one is 62202MB, and it's 99.98. So both of these bags have the same price. Uh, again, easily connects to the mod box, tool boxes, and drawers. This one has 33 pockets, and it is open, which is nice. It's got a firm carry grip with rugged hard handle. We'll show you that. You're looking at it. It's got a zippered pocket for uh, you know small tools and parts again can hold a 50 pound capacity which is really nice it's got a fully molded durable bottom for long-term protection we'll look at that later on the material is a durable water resistant 1680d ballistic weave uh, padded shoulder strap we'll look at that it's got a tape loop so you can bring your tape with you it's got a tape measure holder and it even has a spot for a bracket for the headlamp inside so you can get a little bit of light in your work area we'll take a look at that here's the warranty as you can see there's the link also now they don't use verbiage like lifetime warranty or limited lifetime warranty so be aware they call it the normal life of the product as you can see on the bottom next to tool pouches it says tool bag so that's where this warranty is going to sit uh, the headlamp bracket, let's take a look at that. So $9.99, part number is 56060. Um, I don't know if it comes with the lamp and the actual strap. It looks like it does. Uh, check that out when you have a minute. Maybe I'll put a link in the description on that one. The measurements, let's pull up the measurements. And again, you'll have to hit pause if you need to look at this longer. But there are the measurements. And I'm going to pull up some images now. And again, we're still going to take a close look. But let's take a look at some of the larger images. Here is one, and uh, here is the next one inside, so you can kind of get a, a look from the top down. The next one from one of the sides, and the last one from the other side. Why don't we go ahead and take that close look now? All right, now I'm going to show you how this goes on here. But understanding the lock mechanism, it, it has one, two spaces, and believe it or not, I believe the lock kind of lowers itself here. I'll show you the bottom real quick. You'll see these, the, this thing bites. It really has really good teeth. So you could see here that that one and that one, right, really bites. And then that's the locking mechanism that you basically raise from the front. So... Let's take this, I'm going to put it down with no tools, let me just shove it in the back, you hear that click, and that, that's on, it is on, it isn't going anywhere, so that thing is holding really, really well, okay, and then just to remove it, all you're going to do is you're going to grab this uh, pull up, and you're done, so I like the mechanism, it seems really strong. Let's look at the 33 pockets. So you do have um, pockets over here, all right? You've got two of those. And then you've got a boatload of pockets inside. Now, small ones. And if I can take the angle this way for a minute, I want you to see, it's really hard, but if I go this way, you're going to see that basically you've also got these straps also that are going to really hold on to other tools. So this is one level 
of, uh, you know, pockets. Then you've got larger ones. So here, you've got larger, deeper ones. All right, not bad. And this side, very similar, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So again, you've got smaller ones here, and you've got, again, these black straps down here. And then you've got big, deeper ones. So that's not bad. Now, this is this is this handle they talk about, a firm grip carry handle. So a little bit of flexibility. Rubber, though, rubber. So feels comfortable, really feels comfortable, which I like. Um, shoulder strap. Take a look at that real quick. So you could see here that this is uh, made well. I got to cut that piece off. I didn't realize they did that. But, you know, made well, strong metal. So that's important. Cushion. So this has got a nice thick cushion for your shoulder. So that should help. And uh, here's the uh, side zippered bag you can use for uh, small tools and maybe some small parts, right, that you need to bring with you. So nice zipper as well. Made well, which is nice. And that material they talk about, right, this is that uh, 160 uh, 1680D ballistic weave fabric. So definitely not cheap. Uh, the bracket for the uh, headlamp is here. All right. And, um, you know, the, that, that bracket for the headlamp just slides in here. And it actually angles, too, which is nice. So I like that. Tape measure holder is going to be on this side. So we just take our tape measure and uh, just grab on like that, which is good. All right, this uh, also has a, a tape loop. So you wanna bring tape with you, you know, depending on what kind of tape you wanna bring with you. You got a tape loop, got plenty of room. As you can see, you can put a bunch of tape in here, which is nice. Um, again, 50 pound capacity which is something that's real nice. And, and look at this, this uh, they've locked this in. It almost looks like buttons, but they're not. They're like rivets of some kind to lock the handle in. And uh, again, the bottom, right? This uh, looks like made, made well. Locking mechanism. So uh, looks like a nice uh, bag. Well, let's take a look at the tools we put in this thing. When we got creative. You know, so let's take everything out and show you what we got in this thing. First off, we do have our, you know, uh, measuring tape here. And we do have our uh, tape holders here, okay? But let's take everything out that we put in. So we do have one of our smaller tools we might need. So, and the battery. We've got mallet. That's one side. Here's the next side. Not too bad, huh, with all those pockets to fit all this stuff inside and have our tape with us and our tape measure also. So I like this one, you know, nice and open. I like that one. Guys, by the way, the image on your screen is a video we just did on the Modbox drawers, the single, the double, and the triple, as you can see. And I'm going to give you the chance to check this video out in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to have a link pop up and it's going to be titled draw. When you see the word draw, you can click on it. It's coming up in a minute. I'll also put the link in the video description if you miss that. But uh, here goes the link. 
right there, the word draw. Click on that and you'll be able to check out our Klein Modbox Draw video. All right, so before we end the video, I thought it would be good to just kind of put these next to each other. So as you can see, they are very similar in size. This actually has more um, storage in the sense of actual pouches and pockets. And I do like it being open, to be honest with you. I'm a big fan of that. Um, flexible handle doesn't seem to come off. It is looks like it's riveted on. All right. Um, and, you know, you got storage on this side. You've got storage on this side. This has got a nice pouch. It, um, you know, here you have storage. You've got a big area here you can put something and here you've got a, a, a spot here you've got a spot here again you know you can put your tape measure you know your tape right so you've got that on both bags you know your tape measure and and obviously your tape and again the spot for the light the headlamp that you can put in on this and you can put in on this now one thing I want you to look at, and I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but they didn't put anything on the front and the back of the unit. See that? Nothing there, right? Nothing there. Now, they did that probably for a reason. You would think they would add pouches or something, but they did that for a reason. Because when you take this and you actually put it on the mod box, right, you have room left over for either another bag or like a, a compact toolbox and some of the competitors are actually they actually have pouches on the sides of the tool bag and what happens is when you put this on the actual toolbox and then you go to put a half like a compact it actually doesn't go smoothly because it's banging up against tools or pouches so I hope you understand me on that one um, especially if you're going to be buying the mod box system with the, the rolling toolbox and the drawers. But, you know, you've got good handles here, right? You've got, you know, throw this right in. You've got a good comfortable handle. You, you have uh, the same padded strap on both. Okay, you know, nice. And again, really strong, made very well. All right, guys, so that was our uh, close look at these two next to each other. All right, guys, well, I have to say, if I had to choose, this would be the one for me, this one right here. I like it because it's open, you know, and I like that. I like an open bag, um, but some people want a closed bag, so you, you've got the option for a tool bag or a tool tote. We put a bunch of stuff in these things as well. We gave you all the measurements and all the information. I really hope this information was helpful. And if it was, do me a solid. Give us a thumbs up. We'd greatly appreciate that. It really helps our channel. And if you want to follow us on social media, we'll put our social media channels right up top. And we also have a Tesla channel. We bought a Tesla a little over a year ago. We've got about 18,000 miles. We are starting to do some videos. Subscribe. Look us up at, at my Tesla Journey One on YouTube. I'll put the link in the video description as well. But uh, we'll put more videos on the right side. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, well, go ahead and click the round Tech Made Easy logo right there. You'll be able to subscribe to our channel. Join our family. We'd love to have you. Thank you so, so much. You guys have a great day.